All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 film called Retribution, starring Liam Neeson. Uh, here's the plot. While driving with his two kids, a man receives a phone call from an unknown assailant who claims there is a bomb in the car and available to exit the vehicle, he must now follow a series of twisted instructions while trying to figure out how to survive. Now here is some of the cast. So to be honest here, I thought the film was just okay. Not really surprising for our Liam Neeson films. These, uh, past 10 years um, since Taken, uh, unfortunately. Um, it was entertaining by the second half, uh, I'll admit that, but as you can t imagine, the whole film was him in a car, which got boring to the point I found myself falling asleep here and there, especially in the first half. Uh, they tried to take the idea of the movie Speed and tweak it, which can go either way, however, the film felt stretched out for the first 46 minutes, with some emptiness, which made the film drag and feel longer than it was. And I, it's over an hour and a half, so it's, it definitely felt like two hours, to be honest, by the end. Uh, I will give credit where credit is due. The plot twist got me, and I love that part. But the conclusion fight scene afterwards felt like a letdown. It had its moments here and there, but not by much of them. Uh, but I personally wasn't that impressed with the film overall. Uh, here's my rating. I'll come back to my font fault. Unfortunately, there's really not much to say about this. So this is pretty much... Um, all I really had to say about this, there's not much going into uh, much to this film, unfortunately, to point out. Uh, there's way more than bad. It, you know, it is what it is. Um, but let me know your comments down below on these films and, and just in general, the past 10 years of Liam Neeson films. I like him, but I'm starting to not like his his choices in movies. Um, you know, their the scripts are just not haven't been that great. They tend to be either bad or just okay. Um, for the most part um, So they're going in the way of Gerard Butler, which I also I like but his stuff is about the same type of quality more so with You know just things being not good, but who knows? Uh, but I mean whatever um, but yeah, so remember I love you all please stay safe uh, Spread the love most importantly It's gold cool.